After the end of the First World War, the 1920s became a time of change. People not only saw change in their appearance and lifestyles, but also in music, theater, film, literature, and art. In the 1920s, a musical revolution had begun, involving various musical styles and offbeat rhythms. Jazz and blues were born and became widely popular. Musicians such as Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, and Bessie Smith found fame in this new style of music. Jazz's popularity helped African American musicians rise during this era and has had an effect on music to this very day. Another area that was affected at the time was theater. While theater had been vastly popular for years, an event called the Harlem Renaissance helped African American artists achieve heights never achieved before. One such artist was Paul Robeson. He helped establish his career by playing roles such as the Emperor himself and Emperor Jones. But his most memorable moment was starring in the musical Showboat. In the show, he became the first African American to star opposite a white actress. While theater had been an established art form of entertainment, movies and movie stars were new to people at the time. Figures such as Charlie Chaplin, helped bring an element of comedy to the screen. While figures such as Lon Chaney brought fear to people's hearts in his roles, such as that of Eric, the Phantom. Actors, such as Tom Mix, also helped popularize the ever-classic western But the staple of 1920s film would always be The Jazz Singer, the first talkie movie ever to be shown in theaters. The art form most affected by the war America had just endured was literature. Writers brought a sense of cynicism to their work and described the hardships of war and shortcomings of society. One such writer was Ernest Hemingway. He had experienced the brutalities of war, and often portrayed it in his novels. One great example entitled, A Farewell to Arms. Another key writer was F. Scott Fitzgerald. In his most famous novel, The Great Gatsby, he describes the pointlessness in the pursuit of money and status. Another part of this group was Langston Hughes. He was a poet and writer who used his gift for language to defend African Americans. He is most noted for writing about pride of his culture, along with being a true American as well. Art also reflected the same ideas that was appearing in literature. 
Many times, they were empty visions of urban areas such as bridges or streets. One of the most famous artists of the time was Diego Rivera. His murals reflected ideas of hard work in urban areas. He even depicted the enormity of life and its influences in his work, Man at the Crossroads. In the 1920s, literature, art, music, theater, and film all reflected the large change occurring during this memorable era.